Portal is an add-on application to your OpenScape business system and works in conjunction with your desk phone. It is a fully unified application, delivering features such as presence, visual voicemail, instant messaging, conferencing, call journals, and access to your internal and external directories. In addition, it features instant access to your most commonly dialed colleagues and also provides the ability for you to work from anywhere in any other location. My Portal is available in two different application types. The first is a standalone desktop application for Microsoft Windows and for Apple Mac computers or laptops. The second is available as a toolbar for Microsoft Outlook. Both offer the same feature-rich facilities. This video focuses on the desktop application for Apple Mac. During this video, we will look at the four main screen areas of My Portal and then a more detailed look at My Portal's features. The application window is split into the following areas. Presence Management, Feature Access Tabs, Dialing, Favorites. Presence Management. Your user presence settings instantly inform colleagues about your availability. The default setting is in the office, abbreviated as Office. Clicking on the drop-down arrow next to the word Office opens the Presence menu. Here you will see the other presence statuses available. Each of these presence statuses are accompanied by a further menu, providing date and time options. In this example, let's select Meeting. In the pop-up box, enter the length of the meeting by selecting one of the predefined times, such as one hour. Notes can also be added to your presence status, so other colleagues using My Portal can see more detailed information about your presence. Type in a short note, such as Meeting with Unify in Meeting Room 2. Now, when your colleagues look at their My Portal application, the icon next to your name has changed, and when they move their mouse over your name, an information box will display how long you are in a meeting for, and they will also see your description. Your presence settings, as well as being chosen manually, can also be triggered by keywords in your Outlook calendar, keywords such as meeting, holiday, and so on. Click the presence drop-down again and click office. You now have an option to return to the office, meaning you are back at your desk and available, or you can click enable call me service. Clicking the call me service allows you to specify another number you are available to be contacted on. This could be your mobile, your home phone, or another number such as an alternative extension. If you or your administrator have set up your other numbers, such as your mobile number in the setup menu, these will appear in the drop-down menu, or you can type any other number in the box below. Feature tabs. This area of the My Portal application has two or three tabs, depending upon your purchased license type. These are Journal, Directories, Voice Messages. The Journal tab is your own personal call history. It shows missed calls, answered calls, internal and external calls, as well as inbound, outbound, and scheduled calls. Calls in these lists can be redialed by double-clicking on an entry or by right-clicking and selecting Dial. Calls can also be scheduled from this list by right-clicking on a number and selecting Schedule Outbound Call. From the journal, you can also add dialed or received calls to your personal directory. Simply right-click on an entry and click Copy to Personal Directory. The pop-up window enables you to add further details, such as name, company, email address, and so on. Calls in this list that have been previously stored in the external directory will display additional details, such as company company name, etc. Directories. The Directory tab is split into four sections. Personal Directory, External Directory, Internal Directory, and Search. Calls can be initiated from any of these directories by double-clicking on an entry or by right-clicking and selecting a number to dial. Incoming calls from contacts stored in the directories will also display their information on your handset screen whilst the phone is ringing, and if enabled, in the small notification window in the bottom right of your screen. The personal directory stores numbers that you have added from the journal or from your Outlook contacts if you have enabled this feature in the setup screen. The external directory is populated by your administrator. This could be linked to your CRM software, other databases, or by importing information directly into the management suite. The internal directory lists all the users on your OpenScape business system. The icons to the left of their name display the user's current presence status and whether or not the user is making a call or on a call already. If the user icon is changed to a bell, this indicates that their phone is ringing. You can pick this call up on their behalf by right-clicking and selecting Pick Up Call. We can call a user simply by double-clicking on their name. Right-clicking on a user presents us with a further list of options 
options, we can also schedule a call for a later time. The Search tab enables us to search for a user or a contact in any of the directories. The results are listed below the search box, and we can dial any of the results by double-clicking or by right-clicking and selecting a number to dial. Voice Messages Voicemail messages are displayed in date and time order, and show the name, if it is in one of the directories, and number of the person that left the message. There are also four tabs in the voicemail menu – New, Played, Saved, and Deleted Messages. Messages can be moved between the four tabs, so if you inadvertently delete a message, you can move it back to Inbox, Played, or Saved. To listen to a message, we can either dial the voicemail number from the desk phone to listen to them in the order they were left, or we can select a particular message from the list and right-click. We now have the option to play the message through the desk phone or through the speakers of your PC or laptop. We also have an option in the right-click menu to return the call, forward the message to another user, or save the message as a WAV file. We can also save the contact details to our personal directory. Voicemail messages may also have icons next to them. A red ball indicates that it's a recorded call. A triangle indicates it's a recorded conference call. Voicemail with no icon are messages that have been left for you specifically. Moving out from the main window, we have the final two sections, dialing and favorites. Dial. This area allows you to free dial any number by typing it in the box. To call an internal user, simply type in their extension number and press dial. Your handset will automatically go off hook and dial the user. External calls need to be preceded with a 9 for an outside line. When the Call Me service is activated, typing in a number, whether internal or external, will cause the system to first call you on your chosen number, and then it will dial the number you typed and connect the call. As an example, if you enable the Call Me service and you use your mobile number as your chosen number, then type a colleague's extension number in the dial box and press dial, the system will call your mobile first, and when answered, it will dial the extension number of your colleague Favorites To speed up call processing, particularly if you have a lot of users in your organization, favorites can be created. The favorites menu on the left stores contacts in any order that you choose. Groups of favorites, such as departments or teams, can be created. To populate the favorites area, right-click and select New Group and give it a name. Then, in the internal directory, drag and drop your contacts into the group you have just created. Internal contacts will also display their current presence as well as their current activity, such as on a call. External contacts can also be added to your favorites list and are created the same way. First, create the group. Then, from the personal directory or external directory, drag and drop the contact into the favorites group. For any further help or assistance, please look at our other videos or contact Everything Voice on 0330 055 3570.